How's it going everybody? I'm here with the second part of the outfit series and just in case you haven't seen the first part of this series, the link to part one of the outfit series will be in the description below and also you can check out our Instagram page Verdict Squad now for other behind the scenes content and other sneak peeks for future parts of the series and for other content moving forward. And also be sure to follow us on Twitter at Verdict, Verdict Squad now just to be sure you're up to date with any news or any sort of newsworthy items that we will post over there. So for today's video, as you may have saw on our Instagram page or you saw on our Twitter page, we are going to be reviewing the other silk ties I posted on Instagram and also the pair of pants that were posted on our sneak peek. So first we're going to look at the ties here. These are both silk ties. These cost about roughly the same as they did from the first video that I did for our outfit series. This is a, a white tie with imported silk. This is manufactured in the U.S. and roughly the same price as the other ties that we had in our part of this series. And what I like about this is it's a really nice, elegant looking tie. This can really help just make a bigger statement such as really trying to make yourself stand out. Just have something in your wardrobe that most people probably wouldn't see. And But the only thing is for this tie, it's fairly tough to clean so obviously being silk there's a certain level of maintenance that's required with this to be able to care for it and to make sure that it looks the best that it can be so also with the black silk tie that we have here these are very similar to the other ties that we had from the first video and these is this is also a Stafford tie and this costs roughly the same as the other Stafford ties that we saw in the first video and this is like the other ties I don't think I've Remember to mention this in the first video, but all the Stafford ties are spot clean only, so this makes it a little tougher to be able to clean on a regular basis just because you won't be able to throw it in your washing machine when you're doing a load of laundry or just take it to the cleaners. So just making sure that you care for it in the way that the label's supposed to can really help bring the most out of these ties that we have here. And what I like about this black tie too is whether it's something called like a black tie formal affair or just something that took really make your outfit look a little more upscale and just to bring your look together. What I really like about it is that you can really bring all the pieces or articles of your clothing that you have in your outfit nice and together and just makes you look really good for whatever event you got to go to. So now for the second part, we have here a pair of pants the Van Heusen brand they're from. These were bought about a couple years ago. I assume they have something like this still available in stores. And for the, these pants, they cost about $20 to $30, and overall, I like the quality of them. They have a good fit overall, and they also don't feel too snug, and they fit comfortably whatever belt that you use, so they overall fit very well when you wear them. Uh, only thing is that, depending on your budget, maybe $20 to $30 for a pair of pants, it might be a little much, but for Van Heusen, which is overall a really nice brand, they're worth the price to me. That's just my opinion. Obviously, everybody has their own opinion or verdict. You can obviously comment down below and on whatever other brands you feel that either could be better than the Van Heusen pants that we just saw in this video, or maybe you agree or you have something to add about these pair of pants or you know somebody who has these very similar pair of pants or maybe bought the same type of pants. So make sure to give your verdict below. And also, I'd probably buy these again probably in a different color, whether it's instead of these dark gray that I have here, which I wanted to switch up in my wardrobe just because I didn't want to just have all black or midnight blue or navy blue, just to be sure to have something a little different just so I have different options available to me or different selections of styles that I have within my closet just for whether it's any event that I have to go to or a party or whatever. So really overall, it's a really good brand. I definitely recommend it. Just, uh, if you have any other brands that you would recommend, make sure to comment below. Give us your own personal verdict. And also, for the next part of this series coming up, we'll be either looking at a nice pair of socks with shoes. We'll have to see if we're going to either make that into one video or just two. Not quite sure yet for the next part of the series. And hopefully we'll get the next part of the series, part three, up before the end of this weekend. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel just to be sure that 
you know when videos will be posted and you get an alert after you click the notification bell knowing that when a video is uploaded you can watch it right away. Also, like I said before, be sure to follow us on Twitter. We'll be sure to give updates as to the progress of the third part of the video, when it's going to be up, when sneak peeks are going to be up on our Instagram page. Want to take a look at our Instagram page? Be sure to come, make sure to follow us on Instagram. You'll be able to see it there. And I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Take care.